Hello, my name is Bailey. I'm a clinical exercise physiologist and I work in a cardiac rehab unit. Um, I wanted to make this video because when I was first taking my ACSM CEP exam, I was a little confused on how it worked, um, what's all on it, um, what to study, and so I just wanted to help those who um, were also in the same boat as me, struggling to really know exactly what they need to break down study in order to pass the exam. So a little bit about my journey straight off the bat. Um, I recently graduated with my exercise science degree. Um, I finished that in June. I walked in April. Um, and the reason why I had to finish a little later was because I had a full-time internship for a cardiac rehab unit um, in my last semester and was unable to finish my remainder two classes um, during that time. So I had my internship in the winter, walked in April, and finished my last two classes in June. Um, my journey um, started with the ACSM during my internship. I began to study during my internship the times I could. Um, working and in my internship full time was challenging. But a couple months or maybe a month after I was done with my internship, I sat down and took the exam and I failed. So all of you out there who failed first time, it's okay. Doesn't mean you're a failure. Get right back up and try to take the exam again. I was crushed. I was really disappointed in myself. Um, but just know, keep going at it. Keep persevering. It's okay if you fail. I actually was 11 points away from my from passing. So um, I knew I could do it. I just needed to really understand what I needed to study. I was a little frustrated when I was done taking the exam because it wasn't what I actually anticipated. So the second time around, I tried to dive deep into the things that were on the exam that I was struggling with. And the second time around, I took it August 1st and I passed. So again, it's okay if you don't pass the first time. I didn't and I still was able to get a job in something I love, cardiac rehab. Um, so basically, I just wanted to kind of show you the materials I studied, what is useful, what I didn't really focus on in order to help you guys with taking the exam. So here we go. Okay, so I took the ACSM CEP exam. Um, the CEP exam is the Certified Clinical Exercise Physiologist exam. Um, a little history on ACSM CEP exam. Last year, there were a couple different tests you could take for exercise physiology. The first is the Certified Exercise Physiology exam. There was the Clinical Exercise Physiology exam and the Registered Clinical Exercise Physiology exam. This year, ACSM has morphed the Registered Exercise or excuse me, the Registered Clinical Exercise Physiology Exam and the Clinical Exercise Physiology Exam morph them into one test. Um, and the test now has different requirements for taking it and I can go into depth on what those requirements are and how I obtained my credits um, and hours in a different video. But for now, I just wanted to tell you about my experience with the exam. So now there's only one clinical test and it's the clinical or excuse me, the Certified Clinical Exercise Physiology Exam, or the CEP shortened. So when I took the exam, um, I was just a little confused on what exactly to study. I actually took it two times, like I mentioned before. The first time I failed, the second time I passed. So with the ACSM exam, they have provided you kind of a guideline to the different domains that it'll be on. The first one, patient assessment, Second, exercise testing, exercise prescription, exercise training and leadership, education behavior change, and then the legalities and professional responsibilities. Both of the, or excuse me, all of those are weighted differently according to what they see fit and what your exam has on it. For me, I found this useful and how they've kind of broke down each category, but at the same time, I thought it was very repetitive and didn't, um, help me fully, let's just say that. So in order to kind of tell you my experience and my exam, I just want to bring a disclaimer out there. Everyone's test is different. This was how I felt with mine and how, what was on my test. It doesn't mean yours is exactly gonna look like mine. Okay, so my test, I took it August 
first, I believe, um, there was pharmacology on it, rough guesstimates on everything I'm saying. I would say there's about five questions on pharmacology. A majority of it is patient assessment and exercise prescription. There were about three EKG strips, um, two or three anatomy and physiology, eight metabolic equations, um, and heavily on special populations. So that was my first mistake when taking it. I thought it was going to be a majority on cardiac. I was wrong, special populations. So um, I'm gonna dive into what exactly is provided on the ACSM website when I had it at the time and then kind of work my way down of what I felt was the best. The first thing that ACSM has on their website and what they recommend is the ACSM certification review. So this book has its pros and cons. Pros, you are able to see in a multiple choice setting what exactly questions are gonna be asked. Um, has a great job of breaking down the different categories and mixing them up and anticipating what to do there. Cons, there are Quite a few errors on this. ACSM has been trying to correct those errors. They have a website now where you can go to and see some of the errors that are corrected. It's okay that there are errors. We're all human, but that was a little bit frustrating when taking the exam. I kind of questioned the um, validity of it all and re reliability. So um, it's okay. We're all human, but just be aware when you're taking this Stay true to your exercise science foundation or whatever foundation you have when taking this um, and just practice. Practice, set a timer, practice um, how many minutes it takes you to take this and how many answers you get right. Um, so definitely would recommend this book. The book I'm about to show you is no longer recommended on ACSM's website, but it was when I took it at the time. And I would say this was an okay book to have. It's great. Um, if you don't really have a strong foundation in exercise physiology, um, it kind of dives into the anatomy and physiology, the um, theoretics of it all. But if you're on a budget, I would say you don't need this. So um, it was funny, when I took the exam, I purchased this book a couple months before, studied it, and then a week after I took the exam, they took this off their website. So just be aware of that when taking this. The next book is the ACSM's Clinical Exercise Physiology. They kind of replaced that green book with this book. And this was really helpful. I thought it was better laid out and it kind of breaks down everything. It has pharmacology, it has EKG strips, um, it has special populations, climate you should be exercising in, kind of in that nature of those type of things. I would recommend this book. I think it's a great layout, especially if you don't have a strong foundation in exercise science. But again, um, if you're on a budget, I would not say you need this book. The last book is something that I would recommend to everyone. It is the ACSM Guidelines for Exercise Testing and Prescription. So this book, I would know in and out. And that was my mistake when taking it the first time. I read through it, but I didn't kind of research and dive into it as much as I should have. Know this in and out, take notes. It has cutoff points for blood pressures, um, diabetes. It has stages of kidney disease. It goes into the fit principles of the special population. So um, frequency, intensity, type, time needed for cardiac patients, for pulmonary patients, for HIV patients, for multiple sclerosis. Those are what I wasn't prepared for and what I didn't focus on for my first part of my taking the t exam. So if you're on a budget, I would purchase this one for sure and then the certification review with the multiple choice questions um, because I think this is what is heavily on the exam from my experience. This um, is the 10th edition. There's other editions out there. You can get it from Amazon. I believe you can even purchase it through the ACSM um, website but I would always recommend going to third-party resources just because it's probably going to be cheaper. So I'm sure I missed a lot, but I just wanted to get this video out there in order to help people who are taking the exam um, soon. If you have any questions about um, what's needed to sit for the ACSM CEP exam, where I'm at now in my job journey, um, any kind of questions, leave down below. I'm just Kind of putting this platform out here to help you guys um, 
and I hope this did help people who were in my same spot in life where I, I wasn't sure exactly if I could pass the exam. So again, any questions at all, leave it down in the comment section, and I hope this was helpful. Thank you.